welcome. If you are my old friend, thanks for coming back. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is your math girl saying. Okay, guys, let us look at this question from a 2019 pass paper on the ability test. The number in each diagram below follow the same rule. Use the first three diagrams to help you find the missing number in the fourth diagram. Now, guys, when answering questions like these, we look for the important words and we underline them or circle them and make sure we understand exactly what they are saying. So let us look at rule. Now a rule here would suggest a pattern, a sequence. So we're gonna look for that sequence. We're gonna look for that pattern, okay? So let's look at the first diagram. And if we observe closely, five times two equal 10. And two times five equal 10. Now, how about 10 divided by 5 equal 2? Notice that pattern. Let us see if the same thing happens over here. 7 times 4 equal 28. 4 times 7 equal 28. And uh, 28 divided by 7 equal 4. So, we realize that there's a little pattern being developed there. So, let us see if we can use that to find the missing number here. So, we notice when we divide the bottom, we get the top. So, five divide, 10 divided by 5 give us 2. 28 divided by 7 give us 4, 78 divided by 9 give us 8, 132 divided by 11, that will give us 12. So now let's use the multiplication and see if we get 132. 12 times 11 give us 132. So here we go, it works. One common mistake guys that you might make is to look at only the top number so 2 here is doubled we get 4 4 is doubled we get 8 8 is double we'll get 16 do not circle 16 as your answer okay now let's look at a, another question a bag has a certain number of red blue and green marbles half of the marbles are red there is the same number of blue marbles as there are green marbles. Which of the following could not be the number of marbles in the bag? So again, guys, we're going to underline that part that makes sense to us. Could not be. So obviously, the others can be. Okay? So we have blue, green, and red marbles, half red and green and blue have the same amount. So if you take out, you have one hole and you take out half, you must have half leave. So we're gonna divide that half in two. So we'll get a quarter green and a quarter blue. All right. Therefore, that hole is divided into four parts because the red can be divided into two. So we have four quarters. Therefore, we want to find a number over here that is a multiple of four. Which one of these numbers that four can go exactly into? So 32 is a multiple of four. 56 is a multiple of 4, 100 is a multiple of 4, 77 is not a multiple of 4. So our answer here would be C. Okay? 
A boat has a crew of five people. It can carry a total of 16 people. How many trips would it need to make to carry 75 passengers to an island? Now, let's circle five crew can carry a maximum of 16 people and you need to take over 75 passengers. So on each trip, you have five crew members and 11 passengers. So therefore, you want these options represent the trips. So you want to see how many passengers will be on each trip. So you multiply the trips by the amount of passengers. So 5 times 11 will give us 55. 7 times 11 will give us 77. 11 times 11 will give us 121. And 11 times 15 will give us 165. Therefore, the closest one to 75 would be B. Seven. So it will take seven trips to take over 75 passengers. K estimated the number of people in a stadium to be 32,000. Which of the following numbers could not be the actual number of people in the stadium? Again, could not be. And the estimated amount is 32,000. Alright, remember ability test is all about quantitative reasoning. So we're going to reason again. So, what if you are estimating, that means we are rounding off. Alright, so we are rounding off to the nearest thousand. Because we have 32,000. So if we round off 32,050, we'll get 32. Thousand round off thirty two thousand one hundred and one, we get thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand four hundred and eighty seven, we get thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand nine hundred and seventy six rounded off to the nearest thousand will give us thirty three thousand. So it could not be. D could not be 32,976. Remember, guys, when we are rounding off, we find a rounding column. So if we have 32,976 and we're rounding that off to the nearest thousand, we find a rounding column which would be here, thousand. Then we look at the digit immediate right, which would be here. If that digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we round down. So that's what we did here. Because here it is 0, 1, 4. So we round down. So we rewrite the digits in front. That's 3, 2. And replace everything else with zeros. That's what we did there. If that digit immediate right is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we round up. That means we add 1, to the rounding column and replace everything else with zero. So we add one to two, make it three, and replace everything with zeros. Okay? Now let us reason out this final question here. A box of 12 light bulbs, well, some of them are broken. Which of the following numbers could not be the number of unbroken light bulbs? Alright, so here we go again, guys. Could not be and unbroken all right so if some are unbroken that me mean some are broken all right so let us look at the options given two unbroken that mean 10 were broken so that's a possibility seven unbroken that mean five were broken. That's a possibility. 10 unbroken. That means 2 unbroken. 14 unbroken. Nah. 
that can't work. So obviously our answer would be D. Okay guys. So if 12 in the box at all times we must have 12 when we add them up. Alright. So 10 plus 2, 7 plus 5, 2 plus 10. Alright, one would represent the broken, one would represent the unbroken. But we can't have more unbroken that we actually have in the box. That's not possible. Alright guys.